to open your file. So file open. On the side find uh, the Google Drive. It's under G, Google Drive. Click on that. Um, open up the laser cutting folder, your grade level, your class, and your own personal folder. Here we have a project ready to cut, but I'm gonna bring up my project, which is right here. First thing I'm gonna do is move my color version off to the side and separate my two parts. Once I've separated my parts, I need to click on document setup and change the units to inches for now, or centimeters. Um, then click on edit artboards. The artboard is the whiteboard in the background that you're going to want to be the same size as the material in the laser cutting. In this case, it's 12 by nine inches or 30 by 23 centimeters. So I'm going to go up to the where it says width and I'm gonna type in 12. And I'm, in the height, I'm going to type nine. This doesn't matter, you might have smaller pieces or you're going to cut out some small eyes or something else. You can use smaller pieces, you just need to update the artboard on Illustrator. Now that I've updated the artboard, you can see that things have moved around a bit and I have to arrange my parts again. I'm gonna put the circle up there in the top left-hand corner and move the robot off. This is the same size as a piece of large felt. And I want to, um, save some of the material and make it easier for the next person to cut. So I'm gonna draw two cutting lines just to cut the pieces out. I can show you so here's some examples of people cutting into the corners, but there's a lot of usable material still in the center. So by preparing these cutting lines, you're creating some space and some pieces for somebody else to use later. Once that's complete, click File and Print. And you can tell by the preview that it does not look like your Illustrator art board. So you're gonna click on Setup, and then you're gonna click on Preferences. Now we're in the laser cutting settings. We need to make them the same as the Illustrator setting. So we're gonna change the material dimensions to 12 by nine inches. This is always in inches, so you have to be aware of that. And then we're going to turn the speed to 100% and the power to 30%. And those are the only settings we need to do for cutting felt. Click OK, click Print, and then click Done because the preview is still not correct. Now file Print again. Both settings are looking at each other and your, your preview box should look like your material. So go ahead and click Print, sending it to the laser cutter. Turn on the compressor. Once the compressor is running, you can go ahead and check to make sure it says your file in the screen and press go to start the laser cutter. Mm -hmm. 